Hello everyone, Hacker Ray here. This is my review of Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Now, I had a lot of fun with this review because it's been a long time since we've seen a Metal Gear Solid game. Uh, the last one I played was on the PS3 and it just blew my mind what the stuff that Kojima comes up with and he does it every year. This one of his games are always AAA titles because he puts so much work and effort into it. That's why the games take so long to develop. But when they come out, they're perfect. Now, usually what he will do is he puts out a demo of, like, the first level. And then later the game will come out. And so it gives you, like, a little bit of a filler. Well, now he decided to put a full full game out. Kind of like a, a prologue. Now, it's not a long game by any means. I completed it in a little bit under three hours. But it was fun. There is a lot of replayability in it. There are side missions, there are collectibles, there's a whole lot of other stuff. And there's even the rating system from back in the PSP and stuff like that days. So it gives you the incentive to go back and replay it. Now graphically it's stunning. This was filmed on the Xbox One. I do have the PS4 version also. And it just looks amazing on both systems. You can't really tell much of a difference. So if you have either one, I suggest getting it. Now... I wouldn't buy it for the uh, PS3 or Xbox 360, and I'll have a video up telling you why not to buy games for those systems anymore. But, other than that, basic mission is you gotta rescue uh, Park and Chico, and then get out. That's like the whole mission. There are side missions where you have two targets you have to either kill, or you can capture them for more points. Now, it gets a little bit into the story here. I don't want to give away too much. Um, but it does leave some questions at the end. Now on to voice acting. They replaced the original voice actor of the Metal Gear series with Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah. And he does a pretty good job. I mean, it doesn't sound the same thing, but he's close. Kept you waiting, huh? Now Kojima likes to put a lot of uh, little hidden things in his games and uh, a lot of little funny things also. Uh, like that part kept you waiting. That comes from the fact that it's taken so long for him to just develop even this prologue, yet alone the full game. And he makes fun of that a lot in this game if you play through it and you'll see as you go through. But there's a lot of great features in here. Uh, weather dynamic is awesome. Uh, the guards have a better uh, reaction to sound and sight in these games. Um, I think it's a little different. It feels like the guards have a better AI in the next gen versions than the current gen ones. And it's just more polished uh, lighting effects and all that other stuff. So we all know Metal Gear Solid games look good. They are good. Their stories are real deep. And that is the same with this game. You'll get to the end of the game and be craving more, but want to play through it again just to try to see if you can understand a little bit more of what's going on. And they do that in the form of cassette tapes that are scattered throughout the, the level. And you can go and find them and it will give you more pieces to the story. Now he changed up the dynamic. It, it is all about sneaking in this game. But you can go guns blazing if you wanted to, but you won't get very far. They um, have vehicles you can drive in here. You can drive the jeeps. You can drive the tank that's over there. Um, so you can pretty much make this however you want it. But you're not going to get a good score unless you go through and sneakily do all your stuff. Now you do have a set time in between an enemy seeing you and you putting them down so they can't alert anybody. If you're on your feet and you don't have a weapon out and you're close to them for hand-to-hand, -hand, it'll be like that. 
if you're far away, you know, slow down time so you can get one precision shot off. So make it count. Otherwise, the bells will ring. So on to the extra features and stuff like that. There are no platinum trophies for the game, but there are gold, silver, and bronze. And depending on your score at the end of the game, you unlock different things. Like you unlock new missions or new weapons that you can replay the game with. And these weapons range from anything from a new assault rifle to a new pistol to a sniper rifle. So it can change up your dynamic of how you play the game just by doing that. Now there are weapon sheds located throughout the map like this. And they have a variety of different weapons in there. You can set up traps with claymores. So pretty much you can have, just have fun with it, but, but some people might be thrown off by the short time that the game is. It's a pretty short, it's one level, one island map, and you can explore pretty much everything around it. And there are extras, like I said before, that includes uh, some of the things that you unlock will transfer over to the next game, Phantom Pain. So if you want some of those things before or some exclusive things, you have to get this game, play through it, try to get S rank on everything, which means don't be seen, don't be heard, and don't kill nobody. And you'll get an S rank and you'll unlock pretty much everything for that, and that includes the side missions. So if you do all those things, you should have some great rewards in Phantom Pain, Kojima says. Now gameplay is pretty fluent, um, the controls feel nice. It feels real whenever you're crawling, whenever you're crouching. You get a real sense of uh, presence, which is very good in the game. And Kojima always puts that immersion into his games where it kind of draws you in. You feel like you are a snake. So that is present in this game. So all in all, I think it is a great game. It would be great for your collection if you have the original anthology. They came out for 360 and the PS3. This would be a great addition to that. But I suggest the next gen version of it, like I said. And I'll explain more in a future video on why to go next gen and drop the current gen. So it is a buy. Get the disc version, I suggest, because it'll look good on your collection with all the rest of them. And that's my review of Metal Gear Solid 5, everybody. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out my other videos. I did post another review of this game up, a more detailed review. I want y'all guys take a look at it. Uh, write me in the comments and let me know which one you like best. Or how about we'll do uh, most likes. And if you didn't like it, hit the didn't like it button. And then the one with the most likes is the one that I guess y'all guys prefer. And I'll do more reviews like that. I'm trying to change up my style. To me, it sounds like I'm pretty drab. I'm pretty boring. My voice has hardly any inflection in it. And I don't know if it's entertaining for y'all to sit here and listen to me going on and on about games and uh, tech and my thoughts on things. So, like I said, hit in the comments. Push the like button. Dislike it if you don't like this type of review. And that way I can make this channel better for all y'all. So stay tuned for more stuff. Um, PC builds and other things like that that I plan on doing pretty soon. So thank you for watching and as always have a nice day guys. We're leaving hot zone, returning to base. Confirmed, the target is safe. Thank you, sir.